There, are more, there is more than one approach to this problem. I think the first approach is the easiest to kind of understand. And then it's just to plot the information, right? If you're given information, then plot it. You're given two points. Why don't we plot those two points? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. That is the center of the circle. And then it, the circle goes through the point 0, 1. So obviously, guys, if I have a center and I have a 0, then I know that this distance from here to here represents the radius of the circle. I just got to figure out that length. So from geometry class, we could just use the distance formula, right? And I would expect you guys to be able to do that. However, in this class, we have not really worked on, like the distance formula has not been a part of our curriculum. So unless I provided you the distance formula, I wouldn't expect you guys to remember it. However, we have talked a lot about in this class of triangles. And yes, you can easily just create a right triangle and still figure out that same length. Right? When again, where does the distance formula come from anyways? Right triangles in Pythagorean theorem. So this distance from here to here is 3. This distance from here to here is 4. It doesn't take us long to figure out this is a Pythagorean triple, where r is it going to equal 5. So you may kind of use s2 plus y2 equal r2 trig to figure out right there, all right? I'm sorry? I just found the sides. And you can plane s2 plus y2 equal r2 by r. Yeah. To Pythagorean theorem, you can use that as well. Um, then we could write our equation as x plus 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared. Now, let's pretend we don't know r squared is equal to 5. Let's do, an, let's do it another way. Actually, we know the answer is 25, right? Let's pretend we didn't know that. So that's, step, that's process number one. What if we said, you know what, um, instead of graphing it, let's think about this a different way. We know this is the center. They give us the center. That's easy. That's hk. Thank you. They gave us hk. We just don't know r squared. However, they give us another piece of information, 0, 1. What would 0, 1 represent? We still have three more variables. We have three variables here, x, y, and r. What do you think 0, 1 represents? x and the y. So is there anything wrong with us plugging those points in for x and y and solving for r? No, let's do it. 0 plus 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals r squared. So now we just plug, plug them in so we can chug them out. 0 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 minus 5 is a negative 4, negative 4 is a 16, and we get 25 equals r squared, which we already knew was going to be our answer. So you have an algebraic as well as a geometric approach. Okay? All right, so that was your review. And